In this video, we're going to go over every single one of the basic types available for TypeScript. This is the video that's going to be probably most by the book. We're going to be scrolling through these to make sure we get them all. However, I will provide extra commentary on how they might apply to Vue and will give more emphasis to the ones that are used more often. Our first basic data type is the Boolean. And so this can be either true or false. A notable difference between this and JavaScript is, so it can be true or false, but it can't be truthy or falsy values. So this would be falsy in JavaScript, but here it's a type error. And this would be truthy in JavaScript. As a matter of fact, that would also be truthy in JavaScript. But once again, here it is a type error. So it can just be true or false. Next is the number. So the number can be an integer, it can be a decimal floating point, it can even be hexadecimal, binary, or octal. They're all of type number. Then is type string. That's fairly self-explanatory. Then type array. The array type uses some new notation. So this is the type that we're explicitly assigning. And we recognize the number from before. But now we have this combined with the number. So basically this is saying it's an array of numbers. Let's take a slightly closer look at this. So we have our array of numbers and any number can go in there, but a string cannot. But if we wanted to put a string in there, then we could do something like this. So it's a number or a string. So strings are allowed, but Booleans are not. And you'll notice that if we use concat, then it will automatically use the type. So if we want to concat a number, that's fine. If we want to concat a string, that's fine. But if we try to concat something else, then TypeScript will give us a nice error. Well, nice may be a bit of an overstatement but it is a lot more useful than what JavaScript would give us. And you'll note that this error persists even if we don't explicitly assign the type. And that's because the implicit type is whatever is starting in the array. So if we went and added a Boolean here, now this would be okay. We'll learn more about the possibilities here later, as well as the second way of writing it, which is using generics. The next basic type is tuple, which is something that we do not have in JavaScript, but is available in a lot of other languages. Because of this notation, you may be tempted to mix it up with an array, but they're quite different. Unlike an array, a tuple has a fixed number of slots, and then each slot has a specific type. Whereas in our array, once we decided it could have numbers, strings, and booleans, then it doesn't matter what order you put them in. Whereas with a tuple, then the order is very specific. So for example, here, it needs to be a string and then a number, and only those two. And if you try to put the number first, then it's gonna be an error. And of course, TypeScript will keep track of which type is where. So if you try to call the incorrect method, then it's going to throw an error. Next is the enum type. This is another one that is common in other languages, but lacking in JavaScript. Now, I will be completely honest here. I don't understand the use case of this, so I'm not gonna talk any more about it. And 
If this turns out to be something important, then I'll talk more about it in a future video once I understand it. All right, moving on to the next type, any. The any type is basically TypeScript throwing up its hands and saying, we don't know what this is. It is the equivalent of untyped. So if you translated a JavaScript app to TypeScript, you could just put any as all the types and everything would run, even if there should be type errors. So remember this from the last video? Well, this is a way to fix it. Uh, fix is in air quotes because it's still going to error on this, but it won't error at compile time. It'll error at runtime. And this can air quote fix other things as well. So here, if we want to assign an object to something that's type string, we can just, all right, this is actually type any, and now we can assign that object. I do not recommend putting any in fresh TypeScript code. But if you're gradually transitioning your JavaScript to TypeScript, it can be very helpful. The next two I want to put in together. So void and never. We're going to go over null and undefined in a second. So void and never are in the return of a function. Basically, it's saying, void is saying, you don't have to return anything from this function. And never is saying, you cannot return anything from this function. If you return something, it's a type error. Null and undefined are also grouped together. And that's because they act in a similar way with all the other types. So something of undefined type can only get undefined, something of null type can only get null. However, there are subtypes of other types, so that means that you can assign null and undefined to other types, unless you have the strict null checks flag on. So here we have our type string, and we're assigning undefined to it, and that is allowed, whereas Anything else aside from a string is not allowed. So it's implicitly saying that it's string or undefined or null when you just type this. All right, and finally, we have an object. So it says it represents the non-primitive type, i.e. anything that is not these. So that sounds pretty vague, but you can mostly think of them just like regular JavaScript objects, stuff like this. With the difference being that while null is okay, undefined will throw an error. That behavior is a little bit different than it is for number, string, boolean, etc. That's a bit abstract, so let's do an actual object here. So it's my stuff, and we give it the object type, and it's just a regular object. It can have strings, functions, numbers, even other objects on it. There is, of course, a lot more you can do with the object typing but we're gonna save that for a later video. And now we've covered all of the basic types in TypeScript. In the next video, we're gonna go over more on how to use these, specifically in functions. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks to everyone who's a member of viewscreencast.com, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum plans where you'll have access to our complete and up-to-date course catalog, as well as coaching, mentoring, and consulting. Visit us at viewscreencast.com.